This Math SAT Level 2 Test 3 video is from MathOnDVD.com and MathTutor.biz and it's one of the 150 tutorial videos in this three test set. The set also includes three DVDs, one DVD on each test and each DVD lasts almost two hours. Also included are the three tests and there are 50 questions in each test and it's hoped that the student will work through these questions before they watch the DVDs. All other details can be found at mathondvd.com or mathtutor.biz. Math SAT is level 2, question 38. For what values of x between 0 and 360 degrees does that equal that? So the first thing I'm going to do is to notice that that is in 2x, whereas this is in just x, which is not a good thing. So I'm going to write down something that you're meant to know. The cosine 2x equals cosine x squared minus sine x squared. But if I substitute that in there, I'm going to have some cosines and some sines. So if you know this, which is something else you're meant to know, in fact this is the most popular one, that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, and then rewrite making sine squared the subject by subtracting cosine squared from both sides, I can now put that information in there. We'll make that all in cosines, so let's do that. So the cosine of 2x equals cosine x squared minus sine squared, which I'm going to replace with that. So you've got cosine x squared minus 1. Minus minus, that will make that into a plus. So I'll have cosine squared there and cosine squared there, so I'm going to have two of those. So, if I substitute for that, this, I've done two things. I've made it all in just x's rather than x's and 2x's. And I've also made sure it's an equation just with cosines. So I can rearrange it so it becomes a quadratic, subtracting 3 cosine x from both sides. And now I can use the quadratic formula. So the cosine of x equals minus b, which is minus that minus 3, which makes it plus 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 3 squared is plus 9, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2a, which is two of those twos. Now that's going to be 9, minus times a minus is a plus, 4 times 2 is 8, times 1 is still 8. So I've got 3 plus or minus square root of 17 over 4. Now if I do 3 plus right, where was I before the phone rang? I was just about to do this, wasn't I? So I think I'll start again so I don't mess it up. 3 plus square root of 17 equals divided by 4. Now this is the cosine of an angle and if we're working in degrees the cosine of an angle can't be that so that's an unreal answer so we'd ignore that and go on and do 3 minus the square root of 17 divided by 4. Now remember that is the cosine of the angle so I've got to go and do inverse cosine of that value and get the angle itself which is answer B answer to question 38 is B unless there's two answers so I better have another little think about this and look at the cosine graph at least this is the way I do it look at the cosine graph so that's minus 1 down there, that 
is minus 0.28. So in other words, there's an answer there, and there's an answer there between the range of 0 to 360. So that's only one of the answers. If that's 360, and I take that away from 360, 360 minus that answer, that gives me another value. So, it isn't that, it's actually that. So the answer to question 38 is C. 4 details of all my math DVDs can be found on mathondvd.com.